right, everybody. So we're down at the shop, and uh, we got some cool stuff going on in there. Uh, it's Dino Day. Uh, we got a lot of cars in and out of the shop, but I got two cars that I want to show you today. Uh, we got a brand new 2020 uh, Mustang PP2 car. The car is beautiful, and we're going to get it up on the dyno. And uh, we also had an 053 valve in this in this uh, dyno session that I thought was very interesting. And I want to show you that too because it made more power than you would expect. So check it out, guys. This is really cool. Okay, so what we have behind us right here is a 2020 Mustang GT. But take a look, guys. This is a PP2 car. Uh, this car is brand new. It's got very few miles on it. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's broken in, to be honest with you, but we're going to put it on the dyno right now and see what a PP2 car can do. All right, so this is a pleasant surprise. I was told that there was a Mustang GT coming into the dyno here. I come out here to look at it, and what do we find? We've got a PP2 car. Now, this is the only, I don't know, there was one other time that I saw a PP2 car, and I did a video of it. It was an Orange Fury version. Uh, this one's white. Uh, she's really nice, I have to be honest with you. She's got a nice, clean look to it. And there's a good look at the PP2 wheels. Uh, Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, Michelins. It's got the big brakes. That's a beautiful tire. I love the style of that thing. And like I say, this thing is brand new. And uh, just coming around the back here, you take a look at the back wheel. I believe this is an 11 inch wheel by 19. And uh, it's a really nice wheel. It's also got the Sport Cup 2 tires on it. This car is very, very nice and white, guys. I have to say, I think it looks great. And uh, look at this license plate, <laughs> SS Hunter. Well, you know, uh, this is a little bit of a road car, guys, uh, made to run on a road course. We're going to see what it does on the dyno. Uh, I imagine it's probably not much better than a Mustang GT because the engine is basically the same. Uh, these are manual shift only. And uh, this one here, you can see uh, it's got cloth seats, so it's not a premium car but um from the looks over there it looks like it's a 301a car but uh i gotta tell you guys i love these mustangs this one's really nice pp2 get a good look at it you can see some of the nicer things that are on the pp2 you can see the spoiler down there other than that it's basically the same in its appearance to a regular mustang gt except for the wheels and some suspension changes I gotta say, guys, I like this car. All right, guys, check out this beautiful 2020 PP2. This is a beauty, and we're putting it on the dyno right now. Look at that, guys. This thing is beautiful, man. Brand new car, let's see what this baby can do. All right, we'll just take a brief look. There's really not much to see. This car is brand new, typical Gen 3 Coyote, right? We've seen them before, but it's not too often that you see a PP2. I'll get a close look at the wheels. Like I say, this car is brand new. Car looks really nice. Here's the back. These guys are gonna strap this thing down. We're gonna see what it can do. I remember when my car was brand new, we dynoed at 389 to the wheels. That was a little bit of a disappointment at the time. Uh, we were on VMP's dyno, uh, but this one, uh, we're on a Mustang dyno, so you never really know what the results are gonna be, but uh, we're gonna check it out. You know, this is, uh, like I say, it's a brand new car. I don't know how many miles is on it, but she's a stunning looking machine. All right, there you can see the guys at five ball working hard. That's Adam down there strapping the car down to the dyno. I got Joe right here. What's happening, Joe? And uh, we're going to do a dyno pull on this PP2 car. This should be very interesting, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, Adam uh, just unplugged the connector back there. Disables all the traction control.
looks like it's close to 400. Oh, no. Nice torque curve too, look at the way it comes off the bottom. Okay, yeah, 12% to that. Another 40 horse. My goodness. Thanks for adding this thing is <laughs> Good numbers, man. Good numbers. I'm gonna do another pull. Got a little bit of set at 7,000. Looks about the same. Just a little bit more. Just think fake it good Okay, guys, this PP2 car did pretty good on a Mustang Dino. 399 horsepower. Take it for what it is, but uh, we've seen the Dino Jet estimations actually be more accurate on this Dino than, than the Mustang Dino. So take it for what it's worth, guys. I think this thing's making a lot of power. Guys, a three valve. This thing sounds pretty badass. What we got back there is a 2005 three valve. Uh, there isn't a lot done to it. I looked in under the engine bay. I see a cold air intake, uh, maybe some enhancements to the exhaust, uh, and probably has a tune. So it should be interesting to see what this thing put down after we did something like 250 to the rear wheels on the two valve that we had on the dyno before. So let's watch this one roll, guys. It should be good. All right, we're going to watch this one roll. Sounds like it has cams in it. You can already see she performed pretty good. Uh, not sure what's in this car. It sounded like it's got cams in it. There you go. Pulled us all. We thought it would do about 270 to 316. Uh, you could add about 40 horse to that. He's putting down some numbers. About 370 to the wheels on a dyno jet, baby. Pretty good numbers. Let's do another pull. This car's got cams in it, so it's 
little bit more than we thought. She's alive. Bro, there you go. Good. There you go. He's running good. 318. Man, this thing's doing pretty good for a little three valve. Okay, guys, pretty good numbers for a three valve. Uh, this car put down something like 350 horse to the rear wheels if it was on a dyno jet. And uh, I'm told that it's got cams and um, he's also got a Bama tune in it. Remember Bama? Well, that's what's in this car, a Bama tune. So laid down some pretty good numbers for a three, three valve, guys. I'm pretty impressed. But what do you think about that, guys? Uh, that PP2 car put down 400 horsepower to the rear wheels on a Mustang dyno. So you know there's more in it because these heartbreak dynos, they never give you the numbers that you truly get. But 399 horsepower was pretty impressive. And what about that three valve? Uh, putting down over 300 horsepower to the rear wheels on a Mustang dyno? I don't know, probably something like 335, 340 if it was a dyno jet. That three valve was pretty impressive. Anyway, guys, uh, there's more of this to come. I got a lot more dyno videos, so stay tuned. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.